मेजो आना गड़ेवा वी आर टू सेंट जीवस हाई स्कूल भरनी सक्रिय विलास को छत्तीसगढ़ क्लास 9 और सिर्फ सब थीम फॉर सबमिशन इज फूड हेल्थ एंड हाइजीन विद द टाइटल फॉर एग्जिबिट इज क्लोरेला स्फीयर एन इंटेलिजेंट ड्रिवन डेटा बायो रिएक्टर फॉर क्लोरेला कल्टीवेशन क्लोरेला अ हाईली न्यूट्रिशियस माइक्रोएलगे ऑफर्स अ प्रॉमिसिंग अल्टरनेटिव फूड सोर्स ड्यू टू इट्स रिच प्रोटीन एंड विटामिन कर मिनरल कंटेंट As climate change and food security concerns intensify, chlorella provides a sustainable option to enhance global food supplies. Cultivating chlorella in controlled photobioreactors rather than open fields ensures optimal growth conditions by regulating light intensity, temperature, and CO2, which boosts into uh, productivity and consistency while avoiding environmental risks. Integrating IoT and machine learning. With this bioreactor, further enhances efficiencies. IoT sensors provide real-time monitoring of growth conditions, while machine learning algorithm optimizes these conditions and predicts maintenance needs, reducing operational costs. This method is not only low-cost and eco-friendly, but also easy to manage, offering a reliable and sustainable approach to meet future food demands while minimizing environmental impact. The present exhibit, Chlorella Sphere, is an investigatory project at pilot scale, designed with eco-friendly material, low cost, durable, and portable air sac to demonstrate the influence of different climatic parameters like light intensity, temperature, and pH of culture medium charged into columns of bioreactor through flow pump on growth rate and Chlorella biomass production. With the real-time data modeling pertaining to light intensity, temperature, and pH of culture medium through LDS sensor. Temperature sensor and pH sensor with Arduino microcontroller and inside is developed with the above discussed parameters for optimum biomass production, exhibiting potential growth rate. In the present study, the variable parameters selected are light intensity, temperature, and pH of culture medium, keeping other parameters like CO2 level, dissolved oxygen, culture flow rate, and density of culture keeping constant. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are supplied into columns of reactors. Every day during growth phase, in an interval of 12 hours. In the present exhibit, medium dense culture is used to study the growth rate and biomass production at varied light intensity, temperature, and pH of culture medium. In chamber two, an arrangement is made to analyze the biomass production from the columns in chamber one. At the end of each day, 24 hours in a convenient way through laser diet. an ldas sensor and correlated with the real time data logging from chamber 1 uh, on light intensity temperature and ph of culture solution for the entire day in chamber 2 ldas diodes which is 0 to 5 volts used with fixed laser source and laser is allowed to enter into culture medium kept in conical flask prelos to find the light emitted or reflected by culture conical flask which is analyzed in ldas sensor in lux Are converted into chlorella biomass production. More the light reflected or emitted with less penetration to into culture produce more biomass. Observation and results. For the medium density culture of chlorella, which was selected for study, was found with total incubation of two weeks, ten to eighteen days, with lag, exponential, stationary, and declining growth phase under the influence of variable temperature, twenty to thirty degrees Celsius. Light intensity seven hundred to seven thousand five hundred lux and pH of culture solution seven point five to eight. High biomass production was with temperature twenty five to thirty degrees Celsius. Light intensity three thousand eight hundred to seven thousand five hundred lux and pH of culture medium seven point five to eight. With growth period fourteen days with biomass concentration two to five gram liter. Medium biomass production was with temperature twenty two to twenty five degrees Celsius. Light intensity 1800 to 3750 lux and pH of culture medium 7 to 7.5 with the growth period 16 days with biomass concentration 1.5 to 2 gram liter. Low biomass uh, production was with temperature 20 to 22 degrees Celsius, light intensity 700 to 1800 lux and pH of culture medium 6.5 to 7 with growth period 18 days with biomass concentration 0.5. To 1.5 gram liter. The real-time data logged through microcontroller for variable values like light intensity, temperature, and pH of culture medium chamber one, with LDS sensor value of chamber two, which which calculated biomass, light 
divided density in glass is prepared with data set for visualization through orange data mining methods. The target class is fixed as biomass production as high, medium, and low biomass production in data sets. The different visualization tools used are mosaic display, freeway, violin plot, box plot, scatter plot, fill heart plot, and linear projection. The different machine learning models used for prediction of biomass production are random forest, classification, SVM, named files, neural networks. Conclusion. The synergy of photovoltaics with IoT and machine learning has the potential to revolutionize Loela cultivation, making it more efficient, productive and sustainable. By embracing this technology, we can unlock the full potential of microalgae based applications to find Loela as an alternate food source for sustainable future. Implication So final takeaways, IoT and machine learning can enhance Loela cultivation efficiency. Real-time monitoring and control can reduce contamination up to 90%. Scalability and reproducibility are enhanced through data-driven decision-making. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching.